Maayong adlaw sa inyong tanan. Ito po si Congressman Geraldine Roman ng Bataan. Hulaan nyo kung nasaan ako. With such enormous food offerings, the province of Iloilo aptly describes itself as the food haven of the Philippines. Anumang araw at oras, sa kahit anong okasyon o aktibidad, handang-handa ang mga ilonggo na ipatikima ang kanilang mga pinagmamalaking pagkain. Well, I'm back here in Iloilo. Ang saya-saya ko. Medyo napaklose na po ako. Feels like home. Especially with this beautiful setting behind me. Ang Santa Barbara Golf Course. The oldest in Southeast Asia. It was established in the early 20th century by Scottish engineers who were working on a railway system. But before we go further sa ating pag-revisit sa Iloilo, mag-breakfast muna tayo. It's no secret that apart from its captivating churches, fancy beaches, and well-preserved heritage homes, Iloilo has mouth-watering dishes na talaga namang binabalik-balikan. First stop, Bornox Kandingan at Manokan. Alas 7 pa lang, but Bornox is already ready to serve its loyal customers. Ilan sa dinarayo rito ang kanilang malambot na kaldereta at native fried chicken na talaga namang nanonood sa pagka-juicy. Matapos na nakakabusog nating breakfast, baka naman pwedeng magkape. And speaking of coffee, winner ang kaping handog ng Huerta Farm Cafe at Naka Cafe. Bakit kanyo? Dahil bukod sa malakas na aroma, ay talagang napapasarap ang paghigip sa kape dahil sa kanilang magandang kapaligiran. Okay, nakakondisyon na ang ating mga isip pagkatapos magkape. Handang-handa na tayo to accept new ideas from the transport sector kasama si Santa Barbara Mayor Dennis Superficial. Sa dami ng inputs ng ating mga kapatid na drivers, hindi ko nabalayan ng oras. Lunch na pala! Oops! Break time muna! Punta naman natin ang tinatawag nila ditong Superstar Karinderia. Pero hindi dahil kapangalan nito ng isang superstar, kundi dahil sa blockbuster nilang mga ulam. Isa na rito ang kanilang mabentang laswa or stewed vegetables. Akala nyo, bastos, no? Yung ano namin, since 1969 up to now, yun ang nagustuhan ng mga customer namin, yung laswa, isda. Kasi, di ba yung gulay maano sa katawan? Mabilis yan dito sa amin. Na-prepare na namin itong mga sahog ng aming o, no, o lamb. Tawag dito, laswa. Super daling lutuin ang laswa, magpakulo ng tubig at ilagay ang shrimp at isa o dalawang kamatis. Pag nagkulay rosas na ang hipon, ilagay ang okra, talong at kalabasa hanggang bahagyang lumambot ang kalabasa. Sunod, ilagay ang patola at panghuli, ang malunggay at saluyot. Ito ng finished product. Ayan na! Ready to serve na ang mainit-init pa na laswa na very healthy po sa ating katawan. Bukod sa laswa, all-time favorite din ng mga ilonggo at turista ang kansi ng Tatay Andres Patahan. Kansi po yung tawag kasi puro laman niya ng baka. Kung sa Tagalog po, bulalo. Pag sa ilonggo, kansi lawas. Ang mga ingredients ng kansi lawas ay laman ng baka at buto-buto. Tanglad, sibuyas, langka, sile, atsuete, matuan o anumang pampaasim, patis at paminta. Lagain mo siya ng ilang oras, tapos lagyan ng sweeties, ketombal, tanglad, hanggang magdamag yan. 
hanggang malambot. Pag natikman nyo ang kanilang kansi, parang humihiwalay na ang buto sa laman sa sobrang lambot. At ang kanilang bone marrow, namitgid. Back to work ulit tayo. And this time, kukwentuhan naman tayo ng ating agricultural workers. Grabe ang bilis ng oras. Sa dami ng ating napag-usapan, meron that time na ulit. Pasyala naman natin ang talk of the town na Roberto's Shopao. Parang pila sa Kadiwa Center ang bubungad sa iyo pagdating sa kanilang tindahan. At anuman ang iyong estado sa buhay, yatyagain mong makipila, matikman lang ang favorite snack ng mga ilonggo. Hi, I'm Sherry and what I like about Roberto's Shopao is that it's so delicious and the ingredients comes together. I love uh, and I do love also um, Roberto Shopao because of the filling. Kaya naman pala, to die for. Ang kanilang Queen Shopao, for instance, contains bacon, Chinese sausage, chicken pork adobo, at egg. Kung di ka pa naman mabubusog niyan, ay ewan ko na lang. On to our agenda once again. We will now be meeting with some members of the Iloilo business sector. Ang Iloilo po ngayon is touted as the newest business frontier in the Visayas because of its booming economy. Tapos na po ang ating work schedule for today. So now, it's time for dinner. Sabi nila, hindi ka raw nakarating sa Iloilo kung hindi ka kumain sa tatoy's, manokan at seafoods. Ito ay tinayo ni Honorato Tatoy Espinosa. No 1975. Ayon kay John Lex Bayumbong, ang artistahing apo ni Mang Tatoy na nagsisilbing operations manager ng kanilang family business, ang Tatoys ay parte na ng kultura ng mga ilonggo. So nagsimula yung business sa tatlong nipahats lang right across sa dagat ng Iloilo. Before it was just like started during weekends. So it's just Saturday and Sunday. Like people go to Villa Beach and swim. And right after they swim, siyempre nagugutom. So lolo and lola are catering only chicken and milkfish, yung bangus. Until it, did, it developed during the 80s, it ex expanded into a restaurant. Bata, matanda, and even the wealthiest and most powerful ay naghahabol sa kanilang native lechon manok. Baked kalaba at iba pang ulam. Ang sarap! There are lots of uh, presidents and senators who came here at Tatoy's to eat and dine. And yeah, and sometimes like, nag-uwi pa yun boxes of chickens to Manila and share, share it to their loved ones. I think the secret is all about the freshness, the malinis yung food na sineserve, touched with love and passion for cooking. With such enormous food offerings, the province of Iloilo aptly describes itself as the food haven of the Philippines. So many to mention, but uh, one of those are, of course, the Bachoy, we have the Pancit Molo, uh, KBL, Kansi, no? uh, Kakanin like Bai Bai, and of course, uh, we have Laswa. So I think it would be very rightful for Iliilo to uh, have the title of the food haven of the Philippines. Ayon kay Chef Ariel Castaneda, maraming mga ingredients na sa Iloilo lamang matatagpuan. At bilang ambassador, siya ang nangunguna sa pag-develop ng mga bagong putahe. There's a certain um, profile of dishes from Ilongo cuisine or Iloilo, Ilo, like it's more on the homey side and at the same time it's a, a mix of different flavor profiles from sweet, uh, sour to flavorful. We have a lot of influences from the Spanish era to the Japanese to the Chinese. So I think those influences really help us um, create or uh, have so much uh, recipe. But wait, there is more. May pabaon pa kami sa inyo from Iloilo. Of course, we need to drop by Piscocho House, kung saan dinadala ng Department of Tourism at ng Iloilo City Tourism ang mga turista para sa kanilang pasalubong items. 
It's called Shaw House. Uh, it was started in 1975 by our parents. E even if my parents did not really invent Biscocho, because Biscocho is, is a very old concept, they were the ones who originated the Pasalubong Center concept. We have 20 to 25 different, different items. Uh, it all started with Biscocho and then the very early products were biscocho, butterscotch, meringue, the empanaditas, the tartlets, and eventually we added berquillos and uh, the, the other products that we offer right now. Ayon kay Jerry, bestseller nila ang kanilang creamy, crunchy, and buttery biscocho. Pati na rin ang chewy and nutty butterscotch. Pero mabenta din ang galletas, toasted mamon, at barquillos. First of all, we don't use preservatives. No matter how subtle it is, preservatives will still alter the taste of the of the of the product. The secret to all of this is we have maintained the quality of our product. From what it was on, on day one, it's still there today, changed for the better. Actually, it's not only my second time here in Iloilo, it's actually my third or even fourth. Because with such a beautiful province, there are so many places to discover. Sa ating muling pagbabalik sa Iloilo, isa pang bagay ang ating napag-alaman. Ano mang araw at oras, sa kahit anong okasyon o aktividad, handang-handa ang mga Ilonggo na ipatikim ang kanilang mga pinagmamalaking pagkain. At ito ay hindi lamang upang ipakilala ang kanilang mga kultura at tradisyon, kundi para ipakita rin ang kanilang pangangalaga sa kanilang mga bisita o ang tinatawag nilang hashtag AMOMA.